Once there was a small green belt between two roads of a big city. The belt was with full of red flowers. Big, small and some were just buds. But all were so beautiful. Many butterflies, ladybugs, bumblebees and many other insects used to be drawn towards them. Even some were living there. Oh wait what is this? A beautiful butterfly asked from another butterfly. A yellow flower, a big yellow flower. Other butterfly replied. Where did it come from? First butterfly said in shocked. From the sky, I guess. Said the other jokingly. What? Butterfly immediately said. I mean all plants come from the soil. Said other butterfly. Yay, I know. But one yellow flower in many red flowers looks weird. I wish that some human would come and pluck it. Butterfly said and flew away. All day long the yellow flower watched all the living beings approach the red flowers with love. But he stood there with confidence. In the evening a damselfly came flying. Yellow flower was watching it. This dragonfly is even more beautiful than the butterflies. He thought while watching it. As expected the damselfly was coming towards the red flowers. He reached near a big beautiful red rose but as soon as he started to sit on it, his eyes fell on the yellow flower. He felt as if he was watching him. He ignored the red flower and started flying towards the yellow flower. You are beautiful. He approached the flower and said. He felt the flower smiling. He sat on it. Hello. He heard the flower. Can you speak? He said in surprise. Hi dragonfly. Can you hear me? Both of them surprised each other. I am not a dragonfly but a damselfly. You can call me dam. He introduced himself. And I am a daffodil. You can call me Doff. Daffodil told about himself. So from now on both Dam and Doff became friends. Every evening Dam used to visit Doff and they talked. Dam told Doff about the whole city and specially about his favorite place, a beautiful lake with crystal clear water. Doff wanted to see the lake, but he was a flower that had to die standing here. Then one evening, Dam didn't come to visit the doff. Damselfly flew from the lake to the green belt to meet the daffodil but he was not able to fly. A child was holding him with the help of a thread. Children started playing with him. They would free him, but as he soared into the sky, one of the children would again grab the thread and he would come back with a jerk. The children continued to play with him for a long time and finally, Unable to bear the strain, the poor damselfly died. Doff was waiting his friend Dam but instead of Dam some children came for the flowers. A child plucked a daffodil saying that the daffodil is a symbol of friendship. The time of his death had come. Soon he too was going to die. The children carried him and reached the lake. He saw the lake when he was near death. Dam's lake. He thought and smiled. But his smile disappeared as he saw the children burying damselfly. After burying it, they placed daffodil on his grave. All children were sad for damselfly. Daffodil was sad for damselfly. But no one sad for the daffodil. He was just a little flower who was spending his last moments at the last resting place of his friend.